the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park is too small. How many times have you heard this statement uttered by movie and dinosaur enthusiast channels all over YouTube, by people you've met in real life, by any number of sources? I myself have heard it too many times to count. And it hurts so much, especially since I know the statement itself is false. As a person who has seen Jurassic Park enough times to basically reenact it without any sort of script whatsoever, uh, it just, it, it, it's always bugged me. It has always bugged me, and especially in an age where people pick apart movies scene by scene to analyze hidden meanings, it's kind of funny that something that isn't hidden and is in fact in plain sight would just go completely under the radar. Uh, so, uh, you know, in Jurassic Park, Actually, no, scratch that. I don't even need to explain what happens at Jurassic Park. If you haven't seen it, don't watch it. Like, I don't even know what to say to you. But we know the scene, right? Nedry's there. The car gets stuck. He walks down the hill with the cable in hand and ties it around a tree, which the little officer jumps down and starts peeking at him from around the corner. You know, peeking at him left and right. And as he walks back to the car, the creature finally reveals itself in full camera view. Now, what's important is what he says Next. Oh. oh, nice boy. Nice boy. Nice dinosaur. Oh. Thought you were one of your big brothers. You're not so bad. Now let's replay that clip just one extra time to really give it the kind of impact it really needs to settle in. Oh, nice boy. Nice boy. Nice dinosaur. Oh, thought you were one of your big brothers. You're not so bad. That's right. This whole time, everyone has been saying, oh, the lava source is too small. Oh, this and that. This whole time, there's a line of dialogue in the movie where they directly say it's not fully grown. And this is why it bugs me so much. How people can just somehow miss this one part of the dialogue from one of the most important scenes in the movie. So yeah, I mean, this whole time everyone's been saying it, and I just I had to say something because it, it's ridiculous. How many times I've heard the same? Oh, that all of a sudden in Jurassic Park is too small. Oh, this and that when they're complaining about inaccuracies. Listen, yes, that all of a source in Jurassic Park is very very inaccurate, but if you're gonna make Claims about inaccuracy, make sure that what you're talking about is actually an inaccuracy. And heck, if you think, well, well it never it never says how big they're supposed to be, it's sort of a maybe, I don't know, maybe a cop out argument trying to still say that it may not be the right size, let's just take a gander over to um, a game that is very highly tied to the lore of Jurassic Park and see what they have to say about the Dilophosaurus's size. Still juvenile, our Dilos measure in at six feet in length with an adult expectancy of nearly 20 feet. And with that, dies the argument. Quite simply put, the Dilophosauruses in the first Jurassic Park movie were never too small. They were juveniles, they were not, full, or they, it was a juvenile and not fully grown. I just, I mean, it gives, it gives us a pretty solid uh, number right there on how big they were supposed to be, and it's not inaccurate at all. I mean, maybe it's a little big, but what isn't in Jurassic Park? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. I, I, I wanted to make this video for a long time because I just I keep hearing it every single time, just left and right, everywhere. Everyone's saying it, and everyone seems to just miss this one line. And I've heard, I want to get on with a little bit here, just a little bit of rambling. This part was partially scripted. I still just go off what I want to say with a little bit of guidance. But I wanted to go and talk about an argument that I heard once when I pointed this out, because as I hear it every time I do, I point it out in the comments, I say, you're forgetting this line of dialogue. And I heard one of the utmost, most ridiculous statements I had ever heard trying to disprove this argument, just because I didn't want to be wrong. They tried to say that he was referencing the T-Rex and the Velociraptors. I don't think it's worth pointing out that... Uh, pointing out what, how this argument is wrong, but 
at the end of the day, I'm going to cover my bases before someone tries to make the same argument again. Because if someone made it before, I guarantee someone just as stupid will try to make it again. He used the word brother. Go back and watch the clip again. He uses the word brother. Now, may I remind you how weird of a statement that would be if he was referencing a dinosaur that wasn't even the same species. Like, he says, oh, I thought you were one of your big brothers. You're not so bad. Yeah, because you know what I'm going to do when I see a Dilophosaurus? And I think, I'm going to think, huh, well, it's not as big as the raptors. And instead of saying you're not as big, you're not, instead of looking towards a thing and saying to myself, oh, you're not one of the T-Rex or the raptors, you're not so bad, or you're not one of the other ones, you're not so bad. He uses the word brother. As in, you know, familial relations, as if they're related in some way. As maybe they were, oh, I don't know, cloned in a lab at the same time. Or they're, you know, the same species that were cloned and whatnot. And I just don't get how anyone could have, could have drawn that conclusion. I don't know how they would have done it. But I wanted to talk about it because it's one of the most ridiculous counterarguments I've ever heard. And I really think that this is a pretty open and closed case. Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park are not too small. They are just the right size because they're or it was just the right size because it wasn't fully grown. And you know, that's all that really needs to be said. The Dilophosaurus's whatever reason they had for making it a juvenile doesn't matter because they directly stated that it wasn't fully grown. So, you know, if you want to go talk about inaccuracies, start talking about the frill and the spitting of the poison and whatnot, but don't start talking about the size because Dilophosaurus and Jurassic Park are accurately sized. Maybe not in Jurassic World, because they kind of correct on that and whatnot. I've, and I choose not to believe that the one on the hollow scape was fully grown, because that's not the Dilophosaurus. I, 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 guess that, I guess that could be a counter-argument, honestly, because the Jurassic World had the hollow tape ones that were only about the size of the raptors. The Dilophosaurus is... I don't know. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, I do... Just wanted to point that out, that for some reason people seem to just completely forget that the Dilophosauruses, according to Nedry, the one that he saw, and I say Dilophosaurus because I really think there were two of them in that scene, but that's for another day, but the Dilophosauruses in Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar were not fully grown, the ones we saw in the movie. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I want to get my piece out, and I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've, this is the first time I'm ever doing anything like this. So if you got something to say about how it sucks, or you know, maybe some constructive criticism, maybe some apps to use or whatnot, because some of the people have helped me out before, and it has turned out to be very useful. So if anyone has any points to bring out, then that'd be fantastic. Because I will probably want to do more of this in the future, uh, longer ones with a bit more depth to them, with a bit more mystery, a bit more inconclusive evidence and such. Like that one, I like you know, I genuinely think that there were two different Dilophosaurus in that scene. But honestly, there's not a lot of evidence supporting it, but it'd be a fun topic to discuss, at least for me. So yeah, I just wanted to make this, and hopefully I can get it out soon enough. And I start putting this together now, and you know, if you watched this far, congratulations and thank you for sticking through to the end.